in a class, 25% of the students were absent for an exam. 30% failed by 20 marks and 10% just passed because of grace marks of 5. Find the average score of the class if the remaining scored an average of 60 marks and the pass marks are 33. Now that's an interesting one, right? If you see, it says in a class, 25% of the students were absent for an exam. 30% failed by 20 marks. 30% of the students failed by 20 marks. And 10% just passed because of grace marks of 5. Remember, just passed. Because of, and that too because of grace marks of 5. Right? Find the average score of the class if the remaining scored an average of 60 marks and the pass marks are 33. So we have to find out the average score of the whole class if the remaining scored an average of 60 marks, right? The remaining scored an average of 60 marks and the pass marks are 33, right? So understand, pass marks 33 first of all, right? He says 30% failed by 20 marks. 30% students failed by, let us assume total students is T, right? Total students in the class is equal to T. Right is equal to t. Now it said 30 percent failed by 20 marks. That means 30 percent of t have got how many marks? They have failed by 20 marks, right? So they have got 33 minus 20, which is equal to 13 marks, right? So 30 percent of the students have got 13 marks. 10 percent just passed because of grace marks of five. 10 percent just passed because of grace marks of five. Are you able to follow? 10 percent just passed because of grace marks of five. Which means what? 10% of these students, they have just passed. That means they have been given 33 marks. And that too, they did not score 33. They have been given grace marks, 5 grace marks. So how many marks do you think they would have scored? 33 minus 5, which is equal to 28. Yes or no? 30% of the students have failed by 20 marks. So they have got 33 minus 20, 13. 10% of the students passed because of grace marks of 5. So how much did they score? How much did they score? 33 minus 5 marks. This, this part is important. They would have scored 28 marks only. Right? These 10% of the students have scored 28 marks. All of them were given 5 grace marks. So it became 28 plus 5, 33. And 33 means they have passed. They have just passed. Okay. Now he's asking us to find out the average score of the class. Average score of the class. If the remaining scored an average of 60 marks. Now what is remaining? See 25% were absent. 25% of T were absent, right? So 25 were absent, 30% we have taken here, 10% we have taken here. So 25 plus 30, 55, 55 plus 10, 65%. So remaining, remaining students, how many? 100% minus 25% minus 30%. I mean, again, you need not put this on paper, but so that you understand how we have got 65, I'm writing it here. How much is that? 55 plus 10, 65. 100 minus 65, 35. 35% 35 of T. How many marks did they score? They have scored in an average of 60 marks. Yeah, for 60 marks. That's it. So you know that 30% have scored 13, 10% have scored 28, and 35% have scored 60. Find out the find out the average score. Right. So average score will be equal to what? Average score is equal to total score. Total score divided by total number of students. So see. 30% of t into 13 plus because total number of students is not known to us. Are you able to follow? Total number of students is not known to us. So that is the reason we are taking 30% of whatever total is number of students into 13 marks plus 10% of t into 28 marks plus 35% of t into 60 marks divided by total number of students which is t 100% of t so t anyway gets cancelled here you see t in the numerator and denominator gets cancelled so 30% of 13 how much is 30% of 13 13 10% is 1.3 30% will be 3.9 so this value is 3.9 10% of 28 2.8 and, and sorry i think we should not take t here we should take 0 75% of t sorry because total students are t but 25% were absent right sorry about this Right. You're getting it. Total students were T, but 25% were absent. So for average, you should take only remaining 75% students. So 30% of these have scored 13, 10% of these have scored 28, and 35% have scored 60. So T gets cancelled. 
right? Again, this 75 can be replaced with 3 by 4. 75 percent is like 3 fourth, right? Or it can be taken as 0 0.75. Right? So 30 percent of 13 is 3.9, 10 percent of 28 is 2.8, and 35 percent of 60. How much is 35 percent of 60? 21. So this will be equal to uh, 3.9 plus 2.8. How much is that? 5.7 plus 21. Sorry, 6.7, right? 6.7 plus 21, 27.7. 27.7 divided by 0.75. Do this calculation, you will get the answer as 36.93. I mean, you have to take 3 by 4 in the denominator. So 27.7 into 4 by 3, right? Or approximately, if you see, 27 is like 75 percentage. So 100 percent will be 36. More than 36, obviously. Slightly more than 36. So it comes out to be 36.93. Option 4.